Hey guys, Chauncey back again, and I want to give you kind of an overview of my whole technology system here I built. This is an indoor-outdoor uh, video gaming system. It's meant not really for the consumer, but uh, eventually to put into like a theme park uh, on, on like an attraction. What we have is a display system that is see-through. I'm using the Music Star 1200 displays. So I put these on, I can see right through them. And as you see on the screen here, you can see what I'm seeing. The black area is transparent, and the actual robots there are what I'm seeing here out in the room, kind of like three-dimensional holograms. Uh, the game is interacted with a gun. You know, it's a first-person shooter, so I built a uh, game controller that out of a Nerf gun. So I just painted this Nerf gun black, and it's got a mouse here for uh, the trigger click. And when I pull the trigger, you can, hear the, you can hear the sound of the, the rounds firing you know, from, from inside the game engine. In the game engine itself, you can see you can see these like little white dots going past the screen. Um, and then inside the gun, I actually have valves that are moving back and forth, causing the, the, the recoil of the gun a little bit. And I also have lights on the inside that light up, but you really can't see right now because the lights are on in here. Um, I'm doing head tracking with an Ascension flock of birds magnetic tracker. Uh, this is really just an old system that we had at the university in the closet. So uh, I worked with a couple guys here in the lab and we got that working. And I'll show you kind of how the gun works and all that next. Okay, as I said, the Nerf, the gun that you use is actually just a Nerf gun. It's actually a Nerf Vulcan. You can kind of see it here still that I've uh, powder coated and I dremeled off the back to put this uh, mouse and all this is is just a laser mouse that looks like a uh, like a gun handle and uh, inside of the of the actual unit I put in some valves and you can see those here and I've got weights on the end of them which are just sockets so when I pull the trigger here you'll see them so that gives you a recoil effect and then up here you'll notice the light so when the lights are out and you're playing with this, it really looks cool. It looks like a lightning kind of coming out of the gun. And then, of course, in my game engine, you, uh, you also have the capability of doing different artwork for whatever the gun fires and different sounds and things like that. So it's definitely a cool game uh, controller, and you could easily you know, make it different. It's being tracked by uh, this sensor here. That's an uh, electromagnet that is uh, controlled there by that rack. Those are the... Ascension flock of birds, and I'm just tracking using uh, track. Well, I'm I'm getting the tracking data and sending it with a software called Track D, and that's all just being done in this one PC, and it's also that PC is controlling these this fidget. So this is a fidget relay. They call it the interface fidget, but all this is just four electrical switches that are DC or AC that are controlled by the computer via this USB port. The fidget itself is powered by the USB cord, and what that does is it's hooked up to the to these here, which go to the uh, those weights there, the uh, solenoid valves. All these are solenoid valves that you apply electrical current to them, and they move back because it's just an electro co electromagnetic coil. And then when you release, there's a spring that puts pushes it back, and uh, then the lights are just LED lights. So that controls those. And the glasses. So you guys have all been interested in these. I've been putting up a lot of video, the videos of these. They're uh, the Vuzik Star 1200s. They're see-through. They're being tracked by that sensor. You can see on the screen there, um, as I move, the robots are moving. The game is not uh, complete yet. That's what I'm working on now. So I'm putting in all my collision management and physics and that's all working actually right now, so now I just gotta continue creating content. But it's a large, uh, big mess of wires as you can see, but it's a cool system because all I have to do is unplug the uh, power from the floor and uh, the ethernet from the floor, and this whole thing is on wheels. So I just pack these up, put them under my arm, and then push this cart, and actually a lot of this stuff goes on the cart, and I can set it up anywhere on campus. And in fact, on April 27th this month, I have to present this for uh, my final graduate project. So just wanted to give you guys kind of an overview of what my 
whole system looks like and answer any questions you have. So if you guys have any questions about uh, the, this whole system here, uh, just write them in the comments. I, I, I'm really good about writing back and posting them in the comments because I think a lot of other people in the community would have the same questions. So anyway, I will uh, probably be posting more videos about the overview of the whole project on like the story and the game and all that here soon. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. Bye.